What about parsing? Is SQL with a predicate reusable? It is. This was a major problem with the earlier releases. Back with 8i, the workload of parsing, and not merely the parsing workload, also the workload of evaluating the function was appalling. But with the current release, if the policy is defined correctly, we can eliminate any workload. It's to do with defining policies as static or defining the policy type as being sensitive to variations in context, variations in session. So yes, there can be dreadful performance issues, parsing and, and policy evaluation, but there are ways around them if it's done correctly. Great, thank you. How about connection pooling? How does it work with connection pooling? Oh, you need to use global context. And the context I'm going to is just a local context. My predicate, which we see up here, is going to use RANV. And that is variables stored in the PGA. That's useless for connection pooling, because then you might have hundreds of application server users sharing one session. And of course, they're all the same session user. Um, I won't have time to demonstrate it now, but the key word is global context. A global context that you set up variables in the SGA, typically maintained by the application server. And then we can apply different predicates to different users as they come in through the application server on a SQL by SQL basis. In effect, um, the one persistent database session will generate different predicates for every SQL that hits it. John, there's a great contribution in the chat. I'll, I'll read it to you. You've mentioned that you've seen uh, performance issues, uh, CBO performance issues, um, but perhaps you can speak to uh, one comment about it is not always transparent. Let me read. Our experience with VPD is that the dynamically added predicates can cause CBO performance issues, and it is not always transparent what is happening. happening. Have you experienced this? Yes, I have. Um, when it first came in with 8i, uh, I had dreadful performance issues, I did virtually, as did virtually everybody. With the later releases, the major upgrade from 10G, I believe there will probably be workarounds for most of the performance issues. One should be able to design the function in such a way that it will be, if not deterministic, at least deterministic within the confines of one application server session. And if one can do that, then one can solve the performance issues. So to go back to the questioner, yes, I have seen those issues. I'm not surprised you've seen those issues. I do believe they can usually be fixed. But that comes on to something I was going to say later on, which I'll mention now. Setting up VPD, it can be a mission to set up. It is not easy. And that, I believe, is one reason why data redaction may well become very popular. Is it, is it, pop, did, and you might have shown this, uh, John, in your demo, I was doing some chatting. Uh, is it possible to see the, the altered query, the, the underlying query? Is there a technique for that? Um, there is no technique to see the actual underlying query, but what you can do is go to the view, just pick up the name of the view. If you look at VDollar VPD policy, there's your join column. Joining that column to the statement to the row of VDollar SQL will let you identify the predicate that was appended. So you have to write code to do that. You need to identify your SQL, join there, there's the predicates. But there's no neat view that's going to show you the, code, the modified code. But there's the knowledge that the students need in order to, to uh, find the appended predicate. Yes, good question. Very good. Thank you very much.